How's it going? Ray here from Manta Team Productions. What do you think about when you think about cable television? So it's probably not good thoughts. It's probably low quality entertainment, probably lack of selection when it comes to what to watch, and it's probably lack of selection with the amount of channels out there. But it's kind of like what's available to you and I today, every day. So what does this mean? So that lack of diverse content, that low quality entertainment, the amount of channels that was standard 30 years ago is available to you and I each and every day to create for. So you could post to YouTube, you could post to Facebook, you could post to LinkedIn, you could post to Instagram, all in the same day to four different groups using four different personalities or voices in what you post. So you could have an array of content lined up for your business or for yourself through your channel, through your entity or through your self. You could have it all ready to go. If you show up on one channel, you'll see one type of story. If you show up on another channel, you'll see another type of story. We've been around long enough. We know what types of stories go well on what channel and what stories to expect when we show up on one channel. Don't be intimidated by the vastness of content on social media because at the end of the day, each one just tells a different story. If you feel like telling one type of story, you can tell the story on one platform. If you feel like telling another type of story, maybe something more conversational or more serious or professional, you could go up to another platform. Again, don't be intimidated by the vastness of content out there because at the end of the day, it's just you telling a story a different way for that different platform. Another reason not to be discouraged with the vastness of what to post on what social media platform is because you need to understand why it is that you are posting where you are posting. If you don't get that, you will be crushed with the amount of pressure that you put on yourself to post to one platform. So why is it that you're posting? Is it to stay present? Is it to stay positive? Is it to stay aesthetic? Is it to stay uplifting? Well, it should be a combination of all all of those things but if it is then who cares what the amount of engagement is because if it's staying true to what you want to post and it's positive aesthetic and to stay present then who cares about the amount of engagement you're getting the job done and you're representing what you want to represent and if it feels like you know you want to be able to get better engagement with the next post what do you do you post something that's more engaging and the only way that works is by getting yourself out there learning your craft seeing what works what doesn't work and then tweaking along the way so it's just taking that first step and seeing what works and what doesn't work and getting yourself out there if the focus is on the long game you won't get caught up in the post regardless of how good or bad you think the engagement is because you're already thinking about the next one and the one after that and what it is that you could be changing along the way to get you know to where you want to be so again the cha the channels on social media are just meant to show a different expression of a different story it's not meant to be this giant vast uh, social media platform or else there'll only be one social media platform you know there's different ways to tell the same story depending on what platform you go to don't get discouraged or even on the other end of the spectrum, don't get your head filled because of the amount of engagement you get on one, if it's good or bad, because you should already be focusing on uh, the next post and you should be in it for the long game. So until next time, thanks for listening. Keep on creating.